Avoiding overuse of future perfect tense. Hello language enthusiasts. Today we are diving into a common pitfall when learning English. The overuse of the future perfect tense. Remember, every tense has its place and purpose, and it's all about choosing the right tool for the job. So, let's unpack this together and explore how we can avoid this mistake. Firstly, let's make sure we are on the same page about what future perfect tense is. Future perfect tense is used to express an action that will be completed by a specific time in the future. The formula is typically, subject plus will have plus past participle. For example, by the end of the year, I will have finished reading this book. Knowing when to correctly use the future perfect tense is the key to avoiding overuse. Use this tense when you want to emphasize that an action will be complete before another takes place in the future. This future reference point could be another action or simply a specified time. For example, they will have left before you arrive. A common mistake is to overuse the future perfect tense. People often use this tense in situations where simple future or present perfect would be more appropriate. For example, saying, I will have watched the movie tomorrow, is incorrect and overcomplicated. The right way would be, I will watch the movie tomorrow. Remember, the future perfect tense involves completion of an action by a specific future time, not just any future action. Here are a few tips to help you avoid overusing the future perfect tense. 1. Keep it simple. If there's no need to emphasize completion of an action by a certain future time, use the simple future tense instead. 2. Understand the context. The future perfect tense is generally less commonly used than other tenses. If you're unsure, it might be safer to use simple future or present perfect tense, based on the context. 3. Practice makes perfect. Use exercises, quizzes, and real-life conversations to practice. The more you practice, the better you'll understand the nuances of each tense. And that wraps up our exploration of the future perfect tense and how to avoid overusing it. The key takeaway is to understand the context and choose the right tense for each situation. Keep practicing, stay curious, and don't be afraid of making mistakes. They're just stepping stones on your path to mastery. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video where we'll dive deeper into the fascinating world of English grammar.